Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about the flanger effect. This is a sweeping effect that is often described as sounding like a jet plane. We'll discuss how it works, some of the settings you can control, and then we'll go over a few examples of when and how we like to use it. First, we're going to talk about how a flanger makes its very distinctive sound. Flangers work by playing a slightly delayed signal soon after the original signal. This causes constructive and destructive interference of the sound wave, which leads to some frequencies being increased while others are decreased. By varying the time of the delay, the flanger will sweep across the frequency spectrum in a repeating cycle. So to begin with, we'll talk about the settings for the flanger. The settings we're going to talk about are initial delay, final delay, stereo phasing, feedback, and rate. As we just said, the flanger effect works by varying the delay time of the duplicated track. These two controls let you choose the upper and lower limits of this cycle. Setting the initial delay time controls how far in the cycle you will start, and the final delay time determines how far it will go. Keep in mind that since it's a cycle, it can only go so far. Setting the final delay too long will cause it to loop back and go through the cycle more than once, which will make it appear as if the modulation rate is increasing. The flanger effect we are using also has the ability to spread out in stereo. This is similar to the width and some other effects. If we turn this up to 100, we can hear the sound spread out, but it's not as if it were moving from side to side. The feedback control adjusts how pronounced our sweeping sound is. At a low setting, the effect is not too noticeable. At 100%, it becomes very excessive and will make a mess of your sound. I wouldn't recommend using this past 90%. As we said earlier, the flanger effect cycles from initial to final delay time. The speed at which this cycle happens is known as the modulation rate. You want to keep this fairly low to create a good sweeping sound, otherwise it happens too quickly and creates a very trashy sound. To get a good pronounced flanging effect, I generally keep the modulation rate below 1 Hz, but can go as high as 10 Hz before I start experiencing issues. The final control adjusts the combination between the original and modified signal. It increases the amount of flanging as it's turned up. Thanks for watching this video on using flanging effects. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. If you're looking for more to watch, you can check out our other videos on how to use Audacity and different audio effects. If you want to see more of our videos in the future, you can like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links to our social media accounts can be found in the video description.